Okay, by Saf Senior Blue, introducing to you first, fighting out of the Pooh Connor. I saw 26 years, Ross 167 centimeters, weight 59 and 2 kilograms. Professional record 12 wins, 3 wins, and his team MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 26 years old, standing 167 centimeters tall, official weight 59.2 kilos. As MMA specialist, with professional record 12 victories and 3 losses, representing Sao Cheller to Sierra Brasil, introducing Alan Cornis. He was a man in Krasnodlu. And his opponent fighting under the red corner. By its own 26 years. Rost 167 centimeters. Vies 57 and 15 sota kilograms. Professional record 8 wins, 3 wins. And his style. Ударная техника. Legs the champion. He's 26 years old. Standing 167 centimeters tall. Weighing at 57.15 kilos. As a striker with professional record. 8 victories and 3 defeats. He's Kasani. Rasia. Pata. Lena. Супер пара! И ваш рефери Максим Протасов. Максим Протасов is a referee in charge of this belt. Here is tail of the tape. So the fighters have the same age, the equal height, practically the same reach, and practically the same experience. But as far as I can see, that here Alan Gomes seems to me to be a little bit taller, isn't it? Oh, that's a good hit. That's a nice hit by Leonard. Leonard is pretty aggressive, pressing his opponent. Front kick by Leonard, by the Brazilian. So that's a good knee, but immediately take down from Evan Gomes. And now Leonard has to defend himself. Good body control produced by Alan Gomes. Lenar Suleimanov understands what his corner is saying right now. Yeah, and of course the main thing for Lenar here is not to give his back up. Good shot to the body from Alan. Several big shots with the right hand from Alan Gomes. And so far, the Brazilian fighter is not in a rush. Just controlling the opponent, beating up, gaining points, and preparing the opponent for a bigger takedown, for a bigger moment. We, see, we don't see any panic in Leonard Soleimanov's moves and actions. He did not get much damage. But in this case, he's not, he's not winning the episodes. Yeah, but Gomes just showing us the control and some unconsequential punches. Yeah, we cannot name, name them power shots or kind of decisive shots, but still, he is getting points. And just like I said, that he's trying to get Leonard's attention away from the main plan. The crowd is rooting for Soleimanov. Leonard tried to push the opponent away. And that is exactly what he tries to do again. But we see that Alan Gomes avoids all these attempts using his longer limbs, by the way, using the range. But still, Alan Gomes is just controlling the opponent without strikes. And uh, Leonard Solimanov defends himself properly, tying the opponent's hands. Well, Alan Gomes tries to overpass the position to transfer. Yeah, he wants to make it a half guard or maybe a side control. But so far, Leonard Solimanov controls all the actions of Gomes, not letting him there. Oh, that's a good scramble. That's a nice sweep by Leonard Solimanov. And the fans reacted immediately. Big shot from the left by Leonard. And the knee is not allowed. Uh, 
up. Yes. Maybe the, these were knees to the hips. He wanted to make them, but the corner of Gomez said to the referee that it was a knee to the head and was illegal. One and a half to go in the first round. Both fighters are still in control at the fence. And the Muay Thai clinch is shown by Alan Gomez, by the way. Several good knees landed to the body. And they separate. And now Leonard Sulimanov can show us something in the stands as a karate practitioner as a skilled striker and a front kick from Gomez to the body. Sulimanov is very careful right now, spinning back kick. Nice, and a good connection with the right hand by Lennon. But he needs to improve this position. He needs to go jab. further. From Alan Gomes, low yeah. kick. And Alan understands that uh, Solimanov is concerned to come forward, so that's why he tries to take the distance. from Lennar Solimana, but it was too far from the goal. And so the time expires, this is the end of the round, and I think that Lennar did not win it. Well, this round was close, but Alan Gomes was able to control his opponent at the fence for more time. Yeah, but we have to admit that he didn't do much to provide some damage. He didn't uh, throw many shots, strike, knees, and so on. So I'm not sure that it will be counted by the judges. And here comes a beautiful spinning back kick to the body, but not strong enough to knock the opponent out. And some punches to the face. One connection at least. goes on. And then now tries to change the stances, good defense. Well, Gomez changing stances, but without Ooh. any punches. It was a nasty backfist for Lennar, but he missed it actually. Alan Gomes missed it, missed also. <laughs> nice overhand <laughs> by Suleymanov. Another spinning back kick to the body. Good counter from Lennar after this leg kick. And the low kick and one-two combination from Lennar Suleymanov and the uh, the corners shout to Leonard to stay busy, to stay active. Another, another spinning back kick, a big uh, fist. I'm sorry. A one-two combination from Leonard or from Alan Gomes. So far, the Brazilian fighter wants to stay on the distance. Not to let the opponent to come closer. Well, that's that's a good thing for him. Lancha combination from Lennar Suleimana working at the fence. Good left hook, by the way, from Lennar. Alan Gomes with the jab. Another. And he, he got that hit. He got that hit, and Lennar Suleimana realized that. And Gomez tried to shorten the distance and the Sulimanov needs to separate here, but Alan Gomez just grabbed him and did not let him out. And that is the only thing for him to survive in that episode. And a good knee to the body, another one. A sharp knee from Gomez to the ribs. 
Romish has a very solid gas tank, so just like you said, Leonard Sulaimanov has to be very careful with what he produced. And Leonard just runs out of there. And we see some blood on Leonard's back, and I wonder, ah, uh, I got it. The blood comes out of Gomes' nose, and a good one-two combination. A flying knee from Lena. Oh, another landing. Oh. And spinning back there by Leonard Suleimanov. Well, Suleimanov was careless. Stepping back forward to Alan Gomes, and the Brazilian fighter immediately used it, grabbing him, shortening the distance, and tying him up. And a good control once again from Alan Gomes. A knee to the hip. So once again, Gomes tries to cover, uh, to recover, to regain the powers. And a nice counter to move from Lena. And they separate. And 90 seconds to go in the second round. A very good moment for Lena to give some more shots to Gomes and that is exactly what he's trying to do now but still he needs to be very careful because Gomes is ready to come closer to grab the opponent and nice spinning back kick by Leonard Suleimano so that was that is exactly karate skills but we see that Leonard Suleimano, just like his opponent, is running out. He becomes really, really tired. Nice counter from Leonard. And from this position goes DR Sechuk. But I'm not sure that Leonard Suleimano has enough skills to submit such a fighter like Alan Gomes, such a skilled grappler. But still, he remained on top. He remained in dominant position. Gomes closes the guard, and just he will be waiting till the time expires. Ten seconds to go in the second round. Good round for Leonard Suleimanov. Gomez tries to go for it. And, and that's it over. for now. Yes. Well, a very tricky round, by the way. And uh, very competitive and uh, very promising. And that was a nice counter with a spinning back kick in the karate. It is pronounced like Ushiro. And he got him. He really got him. And afterwards, uh, Leonard Solimanov continues his combination with punches and a nice spinning back kick, but not strong enough to knock Alan Gomes out. And um, Alan Gomes actually showed a very good chin. And it's high time for the third and the final round in this bout. Three. So here we go. Round number three. Of course, Leonard Salimanov needs to use his stand-up game. His striking skills and abilities, and vice Take versa, and vice versa, we can say about Alan Gomes, who needs to use his grappling skills, who understands that if he will continue working on his feet, he will go down. He will be knocked out, that's for sure. And in this moment, in this position, Alan Gomes has much more chances to win, or just to do something, not to let uh, Leonard Suleimanov to use his abilities. But he has to show us more than just a control. Exactly. Uh, Alan Gomes. Nice scramble from Manchester. Gomes takes his neck, 
Maybe go for a submission, maybe for a guillotine, but uh, Suleiman have released at once in a second. And so now he needs to separate badly. And that is exactly what his corner is telling about. Nice elbow, by the way. Well, separation. Oh, that was a good counter, by the way, from Gomez, because he got used to these spinning yeah. back kicks. He understands exactly how Leonard Suleiman works. Yeah, and what he's going to do in every particular moment. So that's why Suleiman needs to do something more, something else. Take surprise the opponent. And, uh, well, Alan Gomez is in his style, using his own tactics. Full guard position, but not closed. Lenar Sulimanov is holding him. Yes, he's trapping him. <laughs> Lenar Sulimanov has to stand up in order to win this fight. And here is the half guard position, by the way. Alan Gomes improved. Another attempt of passing the guard from Alan Gomes, but Lena Sulimanov is in control, did not let the opponent to do it. So far, Leonard defends himself properly, does not letting the opponent to beat him or to improve his position. Ten minutes to go in the final round. And so far, Alan Gomez just controlling, trying to use elbows. Lana Sulaymanov is exhausted. And he is, doesn't know what to do, how to stand up, how to escape from this position. Maybe he knows, but I don't think that he has enough powers to do this. Just uses the elbows to hurt the opponent, maybe to cut him. Oh, that was a good connection with the left hook from Alan Gomes, who also tries to stay active. He's still in the game, giving some good shots, changing the levels of his attacks, hitting the body, transitioning to the head. Nice connection for Gomez and the body. And a good move, by the way, from Lenar. But Alan Gomez once again dominating him, dominated him in this position, staying still on top. Yeah, but any without any severe damage, you can't win a round, as we already see. Definitely, see. yes. But still, Alan Gomez tries to do it. He throws some shots and you hear the booing crowd. Is it enough to that win? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But 30 seconds to go in this fight. Another attempt of Alan Gomes to pass the guard, to pass the right leg of Lenar. And a series of big shots from the right by Alan Gomes. And the end of the round. That's it. The whole distance. Yes. Alan Gomes is more than sure yes. that he won it. Well, he did enough. Actually, I'm not sure about that. Neither do I. So, but still, Alan Gomes shows to everybody, to the judges, to the fans, that he came here not for the salary, not only for the salary, not only for bonus, but he came here to get the win. Doutor Marcel, doutora Carolina.
So let's hear it from Alexander Zagorski, who is already on his place. Итак, дамы и господа, по завершении боя обратимся к судейским запискам. Of the day and of action, we go to the Georgia scorecards. Все пять судей одинаково оценили этот бой 29-28. All five Georgians are on the grooming scoring the same, 29 to 28. Таким образом, единогласно в решении победу одержал. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Alan! Alan Kamash is the winner. Yeah, the unanimous decision.